Hello, welcome back to MF Woodshop. Today I'm going to talk about countersink bits. I've used quite a few of them over the years. Um, I'll give you a close up of some of the ones I, I use now and why I like or dislike them. But the reason I made this video is because I've just bought a cheap set from Amazon just uh, last week and I've used them for the first time today throughout a couple projects. And I really like them and I want you to see them. So before I got these new ones, this the orange ones and green ones, um, I for the most part used one of these and one of these, and they're okay. Uh, what I don't like about them is this one only has one flute, so it burns the wood and it don't cut very decently. So that's a very, very cheap countersink bit. The countersink part itself it also rips out the countersink as well. So that one's just an okay one. This one here has two flutes and it's tapered. And this one actually works pretty good. And uh, I'll put a link in the description for this particular one. But I don't use this one very often because it's just too big for most of the stuff I do. And I broke the two smaller ones that went with this set. So this bigger one is the only one I got. And this one works good for like those four inch screws, putting um, uh, two by fours together or something like that, two by four construction, and you use those big construction screws. That's what this one's pretty decent for. Now this one here, it is a countersink bit. Um, it works okay. I think it has, uh, let's see, five flutes to it, but really it works better for steel, not so much wood. Uh, the wood, it just kind of chatters out. It, it does actually countersink, but it's really more for steel. And then uh, these two, it, or, I already did that one. This one works decently, but the um, set screws, I can't adjust those anymore. Um, those has stripped out or... Um, uh, jammed in there too good so I can't adjust this anymore so I can't adjust the stop depth which is this first heavy ring and I can't adjust this for the uh, height of the drill bit before the countersink starts so this one is only good for this particular setup and it don't come up very often that's really where I need a deep countersink if I was going to dowel over the screw that's what this one's for. Now to the new ones that I bought, these orange ones and green ones, these two bigger green ones, I'll probably never use. Uh, I'll probably end up using uh, the three orange ones and the smaller green one. The other orange one is in my drill now. And these, surprisingly as cheap as they are, they work quite well. The drill bit itself is easy to adjust. It has that same set screw. But what I like about this particular one is it only has the one set screw. So that eliminates the two set screws here. The downside about this, it don't have a particular stop collar to set the depth. So you'll have to do that manually or eyeball it like I usually do anyway. Uh, but you set the uh, unloosen the set screw and then you can adjust the depth of the drill bit the drill bit is replaceable so you can easily just go to the home center and buy replacement drill bits instead of buying a specific one like you do with uh, some of these other ones and that's another good selling point to this the cutting flutes for the uh, taper it has two flutes um, not, I wouldn't have thought that been a good selling point, but when you put it in the um, in the wood, it actually leaves a pretty decent uh, hole, and that is a three eighths hole. So I can put um, a three eighths dowel over the screw head if I go deep enough with the countersink. So let me do one. Let me get a backer for this. And that leaves a pretty decent countersink hole. 
and that one is just where the screw would set, perfect at the uh, level of the wood. And if I went a little deeper, I could put the screw in there and then top it off with a 3 8 inch dowel. And that's actually a pretty clean uh, countersink. So I was actually quite surprised at the quality of it. And then if you go slower, it's even better. Give those flutes time to cut. If you do go in pretty fast, it does have a little bit of chip out, but that's expected for, uh, for as fast as I was going with that. So I thought I'd share those with you. I'll put a link in the description for these particular counter bit, uh, countersink bits. Um, for both sets, I spent less than $20, and that's pretty decent for getting six countersink bits. Now, if it was me, I would probably buy two orange sets instead of the orange and the green, and um, that will probably do most of your real wood working in uh, most applications. But if you do need the bigger uh, drill bit countersinks, get the, get the green ones. So I thought I'd share those with you. Uh, I'm not sponsored by those bits at all. I just uh, happened to need some countersinks and I bought some of the cheapest ones I could find on Amazon just more or less to give them a shot. Um, I'm impressed with them, I like them. I'll put a link in the description below. Maybe you'll like them too. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.